2012 Honda Civic. This is my daughter's car. I'm putting uh, new rotors and brake pads on. The pads are actually pretty good, but this rotor is cooked and it's also rusting out. Some of these fins are about to just break through. So we opted to get some, uh, yeah, there's the back side of it, uh, some new rotors for it, new brakes. So I'm already well into it on this side. I'll show you more uh, on the other side, but uh, you know, standard stuff. Brake caliper has to come off and then the caliper bracket has to come off. That was probably the toughest part of this job, just breaking those free, but once I got those, we're home free. So now I'm at a point now where I'm just gonna put uh, some, uh, I'll spray some, uh, oh man, what's that stuff called? Anyways, let's keep it from rusting. Clean this up first, then I'll spray that down, put the new rotor on there, and then uh, put it all back together. But I'll show you taking it apart uh, from the other side, but that's what we're doing today. All right, I'm on the passenger side of the car now. I'm gonna be doing exactly what I did on the driver's side. This time I thought I would bring you along at least uh, get the steps in. Obviously wheel is off already. Uh, next thing I gotta do is get this caliper out of here. I will hang it on the spring up here with my little hanger. So you don't wanna let it hang by the hose. I'm gonna have to release this little um, hose. Well, that holds that little clip that holds it to the strut. Otherwise, everything else, I'll get these, uh, when I take the caliper out uh, and hang it up, I'll take the bracket off next, I'll take it into the garage, I'll work it over, clear the rust out, grease things up, make sure these slide pins actually slide. We'll pull this rotor off here, put the new one in, put new pads on with the springs and everything, slide that caliper back on, put it all back together, and we're good to go. That's the basic order of operations. Still quite a bit of meat on these pads, but I got new ones, and again the rotor's pretty rusty. Now let's see if we can get this uh, this bracket out.
Okay, I'll take this in the shop or in the garage here and I'll work out. Get all the old brake parts out, get all these uh, cleaned up, get the rust out. Um, lube them up a little bit with some fluid film or something, maybe a little grease, I guess. Put it all back together. Yeah, get quite a bit of rust in there. You may not be able to see it, but started to do a little rust jacking. It looks like these rotors have gotten hot too, so. And the fins are just, some of these are super thin. All right, let's head to the garage and clean up that bracket. Make sure you're in frame there. It'd be best if I had a caliper file, but I don't have one, so I'm just going to clean these up as best I can with a wire brush. Um, whoever did the brakes before did a nice job of actually putting some lube down in there, so the rust is really not so bad down in this groove. Okay, now I'm going to make sure those slide pins actually slide. Whenever there's a lot of gunk and build up and rust and whatnot around these where they fasten to the slide pins, ooh, that one feels real tight. It's a good thing I'm doing this actually. Um, I like to use a pick just to sort of get in here and separate this a little bit so that I don't just tear that rubber boot. Oh, that's really tight. I wonder what they used for a lube last time. Ooh. Pretty nasty. It'll break clean. Boot's actually in good shape. No tears, no cracks. Okay. I'm using 
was in making some comments on this. I don't remember if this was the stuff that was having trouble before, but this is that full synthetic uh, Permatex uh, brake parts lubricant. I've used it for a long time, actually, uh, on all my other cars. Haven't seemed to have any trouble with it, so I'll use it here. Snap that on. Let me just make sure there's not any air down in there. Burp it a little bit. Oh yeah, that's good. Let's see how this other one goes. Oh, not nearly as tight. Now you don't want to lube this up so much that it gets a bunch on the end of this and creates kind of a hydraulic, hydro-locking sort of situation or whatever you'd call it. You just want enough on there to make sure it can slide in and out easily. I like about this stuff is it's green, so it puts a little green tint on that, so you know you got you got enough on there. Okay, good. Oh yeah, that's good. Good. All right. So now what I'll do is I'll, uh, before I put the, the brake um, pieces in there, I'll actually put a little bit of that grease down here just to keep that from rusting and rust jacking out of there. Then I'll go put this back on the car uh, and start putting things back together.
It's a 17 millimeter, by the way. For the part that's a little bit tricky, put the pads in. Which you might say is, you know, how could that be tricky? The tricky is these little springs. These little springs that hold outward pressure on the, the pads so they're not just rubbing all the time without your brake pedal on. No, I did not touch the rotor with grease. The squeaker goes uh, on inside leading edge. Well, in this case, it's not the leading edge, but it goes, that's the way it came out. That's the way I'm putting it back. I don't know if you're in frame to see that, but I put a little bit of grease on the on the caliper face and then also on the inside ears. Now you're gonna watch me struggle. It's easier than the other side.
You don't have to go crazy on these. Once they're tight, they're tight. Once they're buttoned out. All right, next up, put the wheel back on, hand tighten it, lower it down, torque the lug nuts. Torque to 80 foot pounds. Sure, I didn't miss one. All right, same thing, other side, and then I'll be done. Well, I actually misspoke. I'm not quite done yet. I have to take it out and drive it. I need to um, burn those brakes in, make sure that the new pads are, you know, settled well into the new rotors and. Uh, then it'll be safe for my daughter to drive and I'll feel a lot better about her driving this winter without rusty rotors that are about to give out. So I'm gonna go do that, burn those things in, and then I'll be done. All right, 2012 Honda Civic, owned by my daughter. New brakes and rotors actually on the front. Uh, I took it out for a drive, burnished in the new brakes on the new rotors, new pads on the new rotors and uh smells great you know you get that that fresh kind of burning brake smell on new pads good stuff so everything's done there handles great stops great everything should be good to go and i think now we're ready for winter with uh some rotors that are not about to rust crumble into rust dust so i would call this one a success and a job well done even if i had to sacrifice watching a little bit of football it's worth it i enjoy working on cars so I'll go clean up and watch the next game. Take care. We'll see you on the next one.